As you may have seen, Fivetran has continued their quest to acquire as many data startups as possible. In this case, they have just announced a merger with DBT Labs, which is a popular tool in the open source community. But what does this mean for you going forward? Now they're positioning this whole merger as Fivetran trying to become an open data infrastructure platform, sort of trying to target the big dogs like Databricks and Snowflake. But what does this mean right now? Right now, that means we don't really know what DBT's offering will look like and how it will be merged into what Fivetran already has. But what we can be confident about is that DBT Core will continue to exist and they will continue to maintain it into the future, which means there has never been a better time to be using DBT Core with a powerful orchestration tool like Kestra to manage your pipelines. Let me walk you through how you can use Kestra to manage your DBT pipelines so you can be prepared for the future. Now, jumping into Kestra, we've got loads and loads of plugins. So if you've worked with multiple different data platforms and you wanna be able to integrate them all together, you can do that with Kestra. You've just gotta search for the plugin. And one of those plugins is in fact DBT here, where we've got a couple of different tasks here to help you run your workflows. Now, we do have support for DBT Cloud, but we're gonna look specifically today at DBT Core as we know that's gonna be supported in the future. Now, in this workflow, we can combine that DBT task along with our Git plugin to be able to synchronize all of our DBT project files directly into Kestra so that we can then work with those in our workflow. And as you can see, the DBT task itself is actually gonna run inside of a Docker container using a custom DBT image, which means it's gonna have all the DBT dependencies it needs to be able to run DBT build along with our project. So it'll be able to run our workflow, no problems, and we'll be able to get the response. When we execute this workflow, you can see it synchronizes those files directly into Kestra, and then DBT is able to run inside of our container. And we can see here that it's able to successfully run. And as we can see, it's able to run the various different parts of this pipeline successfully and we can see that all in the logs here. And the last thing to mention is when you run this workflow and create a bunch of DBT models, you can access those as outputs afterwards. So you can then produce these models and then you can decide what you would like to do with them afterwards. Hopefully you found that useful and this has helped you understand how you can work with DBT Core going forward using an orchestration platform like Kestra. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of this and if you would love to see future content on using DBT Core with Kestra.